Welcome back to Ozarks Live and say hello to author and painter Dean Ertel. Dean, it's great to have you here today. Yeah, well, thank you. Appreciate you're not supposed to be here. This is happy anniversary day for we you. We heard. Is it not? Yeah, this is number 31. Oh, well, oh, happy, anniversary happy anniversary to you and your wife. Happy mm -hmm. anniversary indeed. All right. He's going to talk about some of his work that you see in front of us, but you have written a book, Memoirs of a Fish Whisperer. I want you to see this. First of all, what made you write the book? I think <clears throat> what happens is as we get older and you hit like 75, you turn around, you look at all the things that's happened to you in your life. <clears throat> and what I tried to do was I went all the way back to age four mm -hmm. and just started writing down little things that I remembered. Really? And uh, ended up with 171 pages of little things. You talk about a great dream you also uh, had. It's toward the end of the book I was reading. Yeah, that, that, that's not so good. <laughs> yeah, it, but it's one of those, oh my gosh, kind of moments really? in life. Well, what, what it amounts to there is the whole book is involved with uh, fishing, the great outdoors, and all the different places that I went from Alaska to Minnesota to Colorado and places that yeah. I've been. Uh, but it also involves everything from preschool, high school, mm -hmm. the Air Force, college, mm. 40 years working with the Boy Scouts and moving all over the country and going on all these high adventure things with kids and that kind of stuff. But what you're talking about, when I was 38 years old, I had this dream mm -hmm. and I ended the book this way. If you're a fish whisperer, so you don't want to end this way. But anyway, in the dream, I must have had this thing six or seven times in a, like 10 days, same dream. And I get out of my car and I get my walker and I walk over to this creek. It takes me 20 minutes to go 20 feet. Mm -hmm. And I get out there in about this deep of water. I take a cast with a fly rod and I hook this great big giant rainbow trout. Mm -hmm. Well, that should be fine, except that then next thing I know, I have an out of body experience where what happens is I'm lying face down in the water, and this young man and young lady come up and they say, oh, look, this poor guy's had a heart attack. He's dead. Oh, look, he still has a fish on his line. And the kid grabs my pole and brings it, and there's a little sunfish on there this <laughs> big. Now, that's disastrous right there. That's uh, not the fish story that you want, right? No, that's not, that's not how mm. things are supposed but to But now, you were born in New Jersey, ended up in the Ozarks, so I always assume that maybe the Ozarks had something to do with your love of fishing in the outdoors. Uh, it started at age four ah, gotcha. in New Jersey. In New Jersey. As a matter oh. of fact, there's a secret place. The painting over here on, on the right-hand side. Really? That is a painting of the secret place. Really? Oh. Uh, oh. If you go to New Jersey, there's a place called the Delaware Water Gap. And the Appalachian Trail goes through 44,000 acres of wilderness right there. Mm -hmm. And in that particular spot, at about 1,800 feet above sea level, there's a little spring. Really? And this little itty bitty bitty creek comes down and it runs three miles from up here, 1,800 feet to 54 feet when it hits the Delaware. Oh my. Mm. And there's 26 waterfalls in the yeah. last mile. Oh wow. But it's a little itty bitty creek. Hmm. And when I was uh, just old enough to just get a driver's license, caught 96 trout in that stream one day. Okay. That was, that's my <laughs> secret, one of my secret that's places. That's why you have to recognize it from the painting. Yeah. Now, how'd you get started painting? Yeah. Uh, when I retired from the Boy Scouts of America, it was one of those things where, what am I going to do besides fishing? Mm -hmm. And I thought about, well, what about all the places I've been? Uh, and so I started painting paintings, uh, mostly, uh, uh, this one over here is uh, basically Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, Santa, the clouds. Sanibel Island, okay. the ocean. Uh, Love there's one. a spot down on the Buffalo River, the Buffalo Wilderness area is over on that end. Uh, this was Hammond's Field, I think. Right, yeah. Hammond's Field. And, the and, and then, I, then I got on a wow. kick with trains, so I did a bunch of train for Frisco paintings. Line, yeah. Uh, okay, we could talk to you all day, but we are technically out of time. Where can people find your book? Uh, it's on Amazon, uh -huh. and uh, look up uh, Memoirs of a Fish Whisperer. Okay. And one other thing, if I could. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Express Yourself is a program that's going to happen at the Creamery on the 6th mm. of uh, 
August. The Art Center, right. And uh, I will have some paintings down there at that time. Okay. Great. And there will be a book reading at that time. Very good. Book. Look forward to it. All right, Dean Ernle, thank you so much. Great uh, having you on. We'll be right back after.